Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video from Breezy Organization. I am on here today to show you guys some brand new releases because it is Saturday. Um, and I'm a little bit late today, so some of you guys actually may have already purchased this on Etsy and the site because they went live at 10 o'clock. Um, and they are linked down below if you guys are interested, but I'm gonna show you kind of what we released today and make this probably a quick video. So as you all know, if you listened last week, we had sickness that hit our home and set me back. Um, and then this week we actually had friends scheduled to come in. So they came in this week and then the last two days I decided to get sick. So that was a wonderful ending to the week. I think I'm over most of it, but I'm still coughing and sneezing and I sound a little ridiculous and <clears throat> it doesn't matter how much I clear my voice. I still sound ridiculous. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to film the video, get it over with. And hopefully you guys can endure through about seven, 10 minutes of this. And so I can show you what we have for you guys today. We have two different releases, um, two of my favorite all time releases here at Breezy Organization. And that is our mix and match lineup. I love, love, love our mix and match. We have um, hanging plants and regular plants in a truck with different things you can put in the back. And we have words that you can switch around. And I have a new version of the mix and match here today. Um, and then we have a shape inserts volume five. So we have five sets of these. These do come in dark gray and white. So you can use them on light mode or dark mode or any of our shape um, widgets. They're going to show up really, really great. Shape inserts are one of the most common used things throughout all of our customers and myself personally. And I want to always have new ones to kind of make the planning new, fun, and and um, just inspirational and just creative. And so we have a new set of those for you guys, some different ones that we haven't ever offered, and then some common ones that may be shaped just a little bit different to kind of bring a variety to your planning. So to get right into those today, like I said, this is going to be a pretty short video. Please forgive me for that. Uh, as soon as I can get my life together, <laughs> we will have more videos, but it seems like as soon as we accomplish one hurdle, another one jumps up in front of us and that's just life, right? So thank you all for everybody standing here and cheering with me and continuing to watch our videos and buy our products here. We really, really appreciate y'all. And uh, we're going to get right into some new goodies that you guys could get today. Um, so our first one, um, let's try out the shape inserts pack. So if you've been around here for very long, you know that we have these adorable little shape widgets. Let me show you what some of those look like. So here's an example of some of our shape widgets that have like these little icons in the background. And then what you would do is you could use some of these for on top of those shape widgets. Here's a dark gray, and then we do have the white available. So you're gonna have both options there. And basically what you're gonna do is let me go to a way later month where I don't have anything. And we'll go to a week here. So um, say you've already got like a pre-planned out week Okay, so say this is what this week's gonna look like. I'm gonna put this in here and then I'm gonna grab some shape widgets. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my Planner Pal on the side with my stickers and turn this sideways. Okay, so say this is what my week is going to look like and these are our brand new releases here. So we have a book progress where you can put the name of the book and then fill in to 100% red. We have a book wish list, and then we have a healthy meals, and this stands for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then Monday through Saturday, or we've got Sunday through Saturday, and you can fill in the heart on how many of those meals were healthy meals. We have a cute mood tracker, which is where you're not doing very good all the way up to feeling really good, and you can color those in for each day or mark them. We have a symptom tracker where you can write down the symptom, the date, the rate on the scale of how um, much pain, and then you can have a note. And then this one I really, really like. You can mark your color for um, how severe it is. So we click on the highlighter and say, you can either do the same color. So say we want to do like a pretty blue, bluish green color. Um, you could do mild as one. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And it's actually going to show up a little bit different because it's on that black background. Um, but let's click this and make it a little bit smaller. Um, it's mild as one, moderate as two, and then severe is three. So you can tell that it gets darker. Or you could do different colors for each one. And I'll show you more how you're going to use that. And then basically you mark which days. So you can say you're um, tracking headaches, right? And so you've got mild, moderate, or severe headaches. And then you can track the days of that month on how, how often you had them and how severe they were. Uh, you have calls with a check mark and then our check box, and then you've got about at the side. You've got bills where you can put the name of your bill and then how much was owed, and then you can check it off here. And then we have a laundry, just 
a laundry list basically because we've got a wash, dry, fold, iron, and put away. And I like checking off things. So we have a laundry checklist, a personal checklist, a practice because it could be a game practice, a music practice, any type of practice. You put the place and the time. And then we have game day for all of those that have kiddos or you have a game um, that or a sport that you're involved in. You put the time, the field, the court, who versus who, and if it's a home or an away game. So that is the look at the inserts that we have for you on here. And then I'm going to show you a little bit of how you could use those. So say I want to grab this square one here. I'm going to drag it over and you can put them below or like line them up below. You could put them on a certain day. You could put them above whatever makes sense to you. So I'm just going to put it down here really big so you guys can kind of see. Um, I'm going to go back here. This book one right here would be um, a square one. So I'm going to bring it over on here and you're going to see that I have a book wish list. And then all I have to do is go up here and find a book that I like reading. To save the cover on Google and then you could put your three book wish list or say it's the books that you're reading for this month and you can keep track of that here. So that is how that one works. And then we can go ahead and grab, let's grab this symptom tracker. I'll show you how this one works. We're gonna paste this one on here. So we're gonna do mild and then let's do maybe a darker pink for moderate. And then let's do um, maybe a really dark pink for severe. Now I'm gonna bring that brush size down and say, Say we had a severe one on the 19th and the 9th. And then we just had mild ones on these days. So you can kind of keep track of it that way. Or you could use the highlighter. So the highlighter works best if it's like a super light background. It will work on the darker backgrounds. Um, but if it is a super light background, it definitely works a lot better. Let's try this one here. We're gonna bring this over and then we're gonna grab the same symptom tracker and bring it over. And you may even wanna do the dark gray because there's a dark gray in this so you can see it better if you, if you feel like you can't see it very good on that. Um, okay, so say we've got this color here that we're marking everything with, okay? So mild, I, I like marking it like the same color with the highlighter for some reason. I don't really know why, but it just seems like it works easier for me marking everything with the same color. So I do mild is one, moderate is two, and three is severe, and you can tell the differences in those. Um, so then what I would do is make my brush size a little bit bigger And then say the 19th again was bad. Whoops. And then that was okay, that was okay, that was okay. And we had a bad one and then we had a few light ones. So you can kind of tell the difference in the shades there. And if you need to make more pronounced um, difference, you can do that as well. Um, or you can do different colors. So let's go back to the highlighter and say mild is that color. Let's actually, let's just do a lighter color for mild. So let's do mild and then um, maybe moderate and then do severe. So we know that these were like severe days and then we can go back and change it to this one. And we had a few moderate days and then back to this one, and this would be like super light. So those were just mild. So it kind of gives you a good look at, okay, how often am I having these? You know, it's every, you know, so many days or whatever. Um, so it's just easy for you to track it, whether you're tracking headaches or any kind of symptoms that you might have um, due to uh, health. This is a very visual way to be able to track that and to see how it is going. Okay, I will do um, one more of these. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring the laundry one over. And then I'll go back over here and I can grab the laundry one from here. And this is your laundry checklist for the day. And then you can change this to whatever color you want and then say, okay, I washed, I dried, or say you wanna do the check marks, you can do that. 
or say you want to slash through them, you can do that. And then you could just use your little checklist there. And you can use these across any of our backgrounds that match our monthly stickers or just our general shape widgets for the backgrounds. Um, so that is a look at how our shape inserts work. And now I'm going to show you our brand new planner sticker mix and match. So these turned out really, really cute. Our second release for today are these planner sticker mix and match. I love these. These turned out so cute. This was kind of spontaneous. I was planning and working with a few different things this week. And then I came out with this and I was like, okay, this is really cute. I really like these. How can I make them a little bit more beneficial where I could maybe interchange stuff? So I added them to our mix and match planner line. So how that's going to work is all of these have inserts just like our shape widgets. So say we want this color yellow here for this day. Say we want to move it down here at the bottom. You can make it however big you want. And then you can decide, do you need a work checklist? Do you need notes? Do you need a general checklist? Or do you want journaling? I'm going to use the work checklist so I can bring that over and have a really cute work checklist on this day as well. And then the same thing goes with these cute little four banners down here at the bottom. Um, so say I wanna use this pink striped one, I am going to add this to this day and say it's somebody's birthday. So I'm gonna put happy birthday or celebrate this birthday. So I'm just gonna put in happy birthday and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the person's name. So I'm gonna add this and I'm gonna put Jared, and I can change the font to whatever I want to change it to. And then now it says, happy birthday, Jared. So you can put somebody's name on there. So now it says, happy birthday, Jared. Or I could, or I could put maybe I have a meeting that day. So I'm going to drag over the meeting one and put that on there and then all I have to do is write in who it's with so say oh that's really big so say I am meeting Pam so I'm going to put Pam I'll put Pam at two and then the location I'm going to put down here Starbucks and then you can check that off once you do it or you could put the time in there um, so lots of just very, very useful stickers, but in a new way to make it interesting and fun. You can also just designate that you've got a weekend trip. That's really, really cute. And you've got all those different colors to work with a work day, or maybe it's a day off. And this one kind of goes off of the side. So it's a really, really fun, interactive one that you can put there where it kind of runs off of the side and it looks super fun. And then we have an event or a bill due, and then you can check it off whenever it's paid. Just lots of just really, really fun stickers. And then we also just threw in some really, really cute ones like it will be okay. Hey, you don't give up reminder. You are enough. So you could just put some of those just as little inspiration, encouraging quotes. You can add anywhere to your planner on absolutely any page and it's going to be super, super cute. So we have these mix and match planner stickers and then we have our shape inserts for today. Hopefully you guys love this release. Thank you so much for watching every week. Again, if you're new here, we are all over um, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. We've got so many people putting up inspiration, tips, and tricks. So if you're wanting some more stuff for today, if this video was too short, definitely go back and look at our other videos and tips in our other social media platforms because we've got tons and tons of inspiration out there for you guys. Thank you so much for joining today and enduring through my weird vocal sounds. Um, I really appreciate it and I hope you guys have an amazing weekend.